Hello, welcome to another video. This video will be What if World War II happened today? So, this is a very hard topic because there's a lot of pieces. So, if let's say if it happened, it just this happened. So, Germany invades Poland. Germany would have no chance to win that war because also NATO exists. The only way to make this video make sense and and just I don't want to make a five minute video that just <laughs> we see the fall of Germany and Japan and Italy. It would, it would be no real reason to make this video. To make it fair, in World War II, Hitler had six years until World War II actually started. Japan, it's hard for Japan because Japan already was at war before it hit China. So that's a really hard one. And out of all countries, if you start right now, Italy would actually be the strongest. Uh, no, Japan, probably, no, Japan definitely would be stronger. But Italy is stronger than Germany. But if you give time, like six years, Germany would become stronger. It would easily can be Italy in power because of its industrial, the industrial, industrial. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, let's begin. So six years, year one, a dictator, the Hitler, gains power to Germany and restarts the Fourth Reich. But what I would, what I'm going to do here. Is it's kind of hard just to do it because it just kind of starts turning off the path of today. Is um, getting rid of NATO. Let's say that Germany leaves NATO, Italy leaves NATO, and NATO just collapses. It's the only way for me to just make it possible for this war. So only like really trusted allies. So the allies return. So that NATO collapses. Yeah, like that. So Japan. It's starting to focus on his navy again, and starts building. It's building three carriers right now. Germany is also focusing on, has a bit of focus on navy, but they never really cared so much about navy. But they're very focused on their tank and their industrial. And the Allies are forming. So in the second year, there we go. So so far, the Allies are just this. The U.S. goes back to a um, isolationist, but Canada is very close to to the U.K. They always have been. They have like the British King, King Charles III, as their still technically their king, so it really hasn't changed. Jeez, Canada has so many islands. I forget about that. Just go to Vancouver Island there. Ah, Jesus! I gotta fill that in. One second. So I just finished coloring Canada. Then next would um, so Australia. Australia is also very close to the British Crown, so a lot easier to color that in. And I would say New Zealand. So I can color that in. Shoot. Nope. Wrong color. Okay. There. There's also some small islands I should probably cut her in. There's a lot of small details I'm definitely gonna uh, not quite get right. Or I'm gonna miss. The British have a lot of islands, which I gotta try to find. There's the Falklands. I'm pretty sure there's an island out here I can't remember though. Hong Kong, Hong Kong is now Chinese. And yeah, and just to make this fair, I'm gonna in real life Japan never actually joined the Axis, but I'm gonna make it this time later. They definitely they're going to do this time. They don't really have an actual alliance out here because they're not Manchuria. So Germany right now, Italy has not joined the Axis yet. So this is what it's gonna look like. So quick, we gotta look. Yeah, it's hard. I don't think that South Africa would join. We also have, like in World War II, the Magno Line. I don't know, I, I might be mispronouncing that, but France had a lot of forts that went around in Oslo, Lorraine, and they didn't build 
the forts along Belgium's border, which I don't think they thought they would actually invade from there. Okay, I'm not getting that wrong also, but because I don't think, well, I th I'm pretty sure that the Allies could probably are seeing the impending danger from here. So, so year one, that is gonna be year one. You know, year two. I'm trying to figure out who would actually join the Allies. It's fine, really hard. So I want the U.S. be isolationist to just make it more of a fun idea. I think it's not only the realm of possibilities if the NATO collapsed. But it, they probably would have joined. That's hard. They should make it. No, I'm going to keep my isolationist. Okay, so. Normally, I'm pretty sure Italy joined that the Axis just before World War II or a year before, but I'm going to make them red now because they are so close to the line, especially nowadays. They're still very close. Now, Japan. I'll make them join now. These years are going to get a little happen, mostly because um, the Axis are just going to rebuild, and there's not much. I know that the British have some, like, they have, like, ports around the world from more military bases. There's Bermuda. Interesting, that happened in Bermuda. Also, there's been a problem, so in the modern day, we already have, like, micro-conflicts, which I will also probably include into this conflict, just to make it more modern. So, uh, the Ukraine war is happening. Year three, it's probably more rebuilding. It's still in ideas. Hitler got in power in 33. He wasn't a dictator yet, but it's six years, three, basically at uh, 36. This is where Germany really got the camp power and Just to uh, make it more sensible, the German people are, would have to be more indoctrinated to support the ideology again. So I'm just going to skip through a couple years until about, let's say, 38. Or let's, uh, about five years into the future. It's, that's where Germany tries to do Anschluss Austria. I don't think Germany has struggle at Anschlussing or annexing, but the Allies would definitely not accept it. Because of this alliance already big, I feel I would be confident to say that the Allies wouldn't declare war from an for annexing them because they don't. That's a lot. They don't want to start another war. You know, it's not, not, it's not the same as World War II because they would not want to start a war back then because they were just dealing with the Great Depression. Now, it'd be a lot easier to start a war. But just annexing Austria would definitely not cause a war. Yet, and that's not a reason to start the war. So I would say Germany would successfully go to them. Now, you could also see a very similar idea where Italy tries to annex the old land out here by trying to force Croatia and Slovenia to give them land up. But I have no way to figure out if they can actually get away with it. And I have also say that Italy is definitely not out no longer a laugh at nation. They are very well-trained soldiers nowadays. 
and they're not the same nation that were in the 1940s. They were terrible in the 1940s at fighting, but now I've done a lot more research on Italy. Now it's definitely a way better army. And in the same year, this is right on second. Yeah, so in the same year, Germany also annexed the Dateland. This is where I think that the British would try to would probably not let them pass this. So I would say that the war would start now if they try to annex, or they can try to to forcefully take a lot more time, but forcefully just try to pressure or just yeah pressure the checks to this land up. I also think that some people might say that Germany might try to ally with Russia, but the whole reason that Germany or not Germany existed was to take down Russia. So I think that's just counterintuitive saying that they'd line. So I cannot see that happening. But what I would say that happened now the journey was still with us trying to take Czechia right now. And I would say Germany would put a lot of forces on the German, on the French border just to prevent France from invading. So I would say that would probably happen. So Germany declares war on Czechia. So one second. Justice. Right. Let's zoom into the conflict. So Italy does not join the war immediately. France tries to penetrate the German border, but they're unable to. And Germany pushes Prague. France still can't penetrate. Leaving Prague to fall. And I would say Czechia would probably, or the Czechs would probably swing around here. Now, I would say there's a good chance that Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg all just join the Allies just for because of fear. But I also think there's a, that there's also a good chance that they wouldn't just because they would, it would delay the war for them. But I'll, I think that the, the, this time they let French and British troops board them or guard them. The last time in World War II before they invaded, especially Belgium refused for troops to be placed on their border. So British and French troops are going to be there. Now uh, let's go check out what what would they do, or what would the 
or what Japan do? So Japan, I think Japan would probably start with trying to take out the South Korea. Or Taiwan. Well, I would say they have. If we, if we go off World War II ideas, they probably have more claim to South Korea. So that's what we'll do. They invade South Korea. This one's a lot harder because South Korea is a very strong nation. And the only way that Japan can win them is by basically force or using their name to blockade the hell of them. This could definitely provoke other nations to join the war, such as the Philippines. Vietnam could, Taiwan definitely could, but Taiwan probably wouldn't want to join because then China would probably just declare war on them. So yeah, that would happen. So right now is Chinese blockade. So I'm gonna say this is probably 2029. Now, Italy. If when it, Italy would probably join, I say Italy joins now, and they just, they will declare war on Slovenia. Germany may check you as puppet during World War II, so I'm guessing Germany would, instead of declaring war on Czechia, would try to um, send spies to change their ide identity or ideology internally, and then give this little part that was once Italian to Italy later. But this is the war, the biggest war would be really very quick. Just Germany fades from the south, claiming territory that they claimed, actually claimed during World War II. And the Italians would push from the other side, gain their land. They held during World War One, rather held after World War One. And they'd also be pressuring civilians to join their alliance probably through puppeting but it's taken that's, that's gonna take a while also and this is what it looks like now next year I would say 2030 that there's two ways this can go either Germany goes north takes Norway to prevent UK from from or blocking Swedish iron but in this timeline I don't know if Sweden would trade with with Germany, there's a chance they wouldn't, but there's also a chance they would because I don't they never Journey never had plans or real big plans to invade Sweden. But and also UK probably wouldn't want to land troops in Norway because the original plan was to help Finland. But Finland's not at war with Russia, so there's no reason to do that either. But I see there's a reason why Germany would invade Denmark. So I, I, I would say that Germany would invade Denmark next. Oh, wrong color. Shoot, more islands. And they also own Denmark. So there. 
again, the UK would probably attempt to send troops there, but it would end up it wouldn't get this very far. That is too big. But in World War Two, this war only lasted about six hours. But in this time, I don't think the Denmark would actually surrender. So Germany takes the main island, then lands troops just near to Copenhagen and takes Copenhagen. Now it's just la it's probably last a couple days. And Denmark was surrender. And and uh, Greenland would probably be controlled by the British. And now, and now, this is when I would say that Germany declared war on Poland. Because that was like the whole goal of Germany. And Germany has lots of claims in Poland, like East Prussia, that they're definitely going to insert on the Poles. Perfect. There we go. So Germany had follow the coastline and probably invade, I'm guessing, from Czechia. Taking folks on Krakow. And I would say that France would probably be able to get to get little in Italy, but they they'd probably still struggle getting across the mountains there, the Alps. So that would be, be very slow and costly for France. Just the only problem is that they can't get all East Prussia because of of Russia. And they would not want to invade Russia because they're already at war with half of Europe or part part of Europe. Brought that that island. I can't remember what it's called. And just like that, Poland would definitely surrender now. And it would definitely wouldn't be shared with Russia this time or the USSR. And I'm gonna guess that Germany will also invade. Slovenia, because the Slovenians are in Slovakia, because Slovakia wouldn't, was was not willing to join join Germany. And with that, that's it. Right off the bat, they would surrender. They wouldn't, they wouldn't stand a chance. Then the peace deal with that, or the deal with that, would most likely be with same very similar to World War Two that they'll get themselves to Hungary. Because they would see as a, see them as a potential ally.
these actions would probably encourage an alliance between Hungary. And from this, I'd probably say that Germany would just ignore Norway and focus on the Benelux. And that's what they'd probably do. So that, I guess, uh, nope, uh, that's off. There we go. And they will join the Allies as Germany invades. From this, I'm pretty sure that would provoke the U.S. to join. Lots of, lots of islands. And that would also would have some of, of their allies to join. U.S. allies. And now Japan is me under severe threat as now they have multiple, they have to do a lot of landings before the US troops can get there. Because now, because the US is in the war, the, the only choice is to play very defensive. And I would say Japan would try to land on South Korea now as they have crippled their economy. This has been about two years now. So I'll say this is 2031 vote now. They invade an island of South Korea in the south and they push for Seoul. I mean, that's be a very hard and costly battle. I would say because Japan is stronger if now, because the way they can probably beat them, and I would guess they probably continue into North Korea. And I don't think North Korea would have a chance to join the Allies because the West hates them They're pretty much. Also, a lot in North Korea, we a lot quicker, even though they have more soldiers. It would just be a bloodbath of and waves upon waves of soldiers. But I think that North and South Korea would surrender Japan. It would take about a whole year for that to happen. And this is where I think China would get involved because. China is a North Korean ally and Russia would probably not join because they don't want to deal with Germany but I believe this would cause another alliance they probably twist the hand of Mongolia and I think they can get the probably twist hands of Laos. It's hard to say. Russia is just hard. I don't know if Russia will have a chance to join or not. But from what I see, this is what that alliance should definitely have. And also, just to tell you, I am completely ignoring nukes. Because now we have nuclear countries, I don't want to use nukes in this simulation. And... Yeah, so this is what it looked like. U.S. troops are being shipped to both sides now. Uh, I'd say Germany has about three months for massive enough troops. I think they have about one month before the first troops arrived. So that they have about a month to take out France. And they're going to throw everything they have at it. 
France and Doom can be a lot more better equipped for this now. But German troops who cross the border could probably be able to take out the Netherlands before that would take them out and then try to cut them off. But then we're going to get probably closest following, but the French are probably going to pull out of the south, protect their capital, and at least get a little bit of land out of it. We're going to take the French island. And at this point, it's hard to say. But I would think that beyond this point, I would say that Germany will be able to twist the hand of of Hungary. They're going to force, also twist the hand and force Croatia. And, they're, and Croatia is going to invade Bosnia. And Italy will be able to get their old little panhandle back. Probably, from what I've been finding out, I would say that Italy, it, well, Italy and Albania right now are very good allies, and I think with a little bit of diplomatic pressure, Italy could convince Albania to join. And I would say, in Albania is good allies with Kosovo, and the Kosovo would join. It's hard to say actually. I just on my head. Kosovo is also a good ally with the US. So I might have to say that might not happen, but Kosovo wants to get its full independence from Serbia. So it, it, would, it would have to decide from either joining the Axis and against the US, but probably successfully gain their independence. Or not going against the U.S. and having problem get, getting their independence fully. It's hard, but I feel like through diplomatic pressure, they would also join. And Serbia would not like that. They would go against it, and, and Montenegro would just be there, just all confused. Well, why are they all doing around me like that? So, and now that's a new front. With Serbia would probably immediately push into Kosovo and into northern Albania while Italian troops are across the strait. Is this strait? I don't know. And German, Hungarian, and Croatian soldiers push into Bosnia just before Serbians get there but are stopped. And it's 
I can slow this down. Up to the north. Japan gets holds a little bit more. They set a defensive line right here and they're pushed back to that line. Right about here, they're pushed back right to the line and they're halted temporarily. But they also, before the US gets there, that they managed to land on Taiwan, taking it. And they quickly managed to get on the northern Philippines, taking Northern Ireland, but are unable to get any more of the islands. And here, does it would go a little bit farther, but I don't think with Germany being stronger, I think they would manage to get the capital through just pure strategy. But I don't think that'd be enough to make France surrender. So they'd probably um, estimate would be would probably halt around here. And now U.S. troops have arrived. And the war almost completely halts. And Italy declares war on Mon uh, Monaco just to take the port. They are they do manage to get into Serbia and break, break it, taking Belgrade, and this whole front collapses, but for that, Germany is put into a halt. And I, and this is now, this is going to be 2032. And I would say, seeing that, Russia seeing that, Germany, is no longer as much of a threat as their success has been dwindling. I would say that that um Russia would join the war against Germany, but that would push it into a situation where Ukraine would most ideally be have to side with. We have to side with Germany. It's hard, but now that's actually hard. I don't know. It's with I don't really think about that. I don't know what to say about that. Would Ukraine join the Axis if that was your Because that's hard. I don't really think about that. Because also the, their alliance, they have um, their own CATO, what do they call it? Cat or the CSTO. The Russia has their own alliance, which I would say would, would look like this. Armenia is also part of it. I would say that Iran would join. Russia would pressure Armenia to join. And Russia has both puppets governments in. Georgia, right here, and right up here. I can't think the war looked like this. Now, 
I think that Russia was prize. Surprised Germany for us for a little second there. We'll get a little push and connecting there. Real. There. So, what would you call that? It's a. Well, it's a break. The breakaway state. So it breaks off from their, their main the main uh, country. But Germany would probably will beat the. Russians. If they can't beat Ukraine, they'd definitely not do very well against the Germans. They struggle in um, Kalinin? Red? I don't know. They struggle here because it is very fortified. But in the end, I would say they'd probably get it back. And now they've finally owned all of their Eastern Prussia. Now it's the US troops arriving in the hundreds of thousands. They would, Russia would have to leave their front with Russia. And Would definitely have would have problems with the, with the West. Now they'd probably start getting pushed back at this point. With he, with Germany unable to take France, the U.S. has a a great front as. Paris is reclaimed. And there is no landing point in Africa for them to go off, so I don't think, I mean, Italy is going to have a immediate spot to have it where it'd be a threat from. But. Belgium is liberated and I would say that that the Russia also make us get on liberate a lot of Belarus again and would we'll struggle again trying to take their detachment back. And in Japan, their little their defensive point would definitely would probably have broken by this point, and North Korea's capital would be liberated, and Seoul, South Korea would be taken over. The U.S. would probably have landed in the Philippines, liberating it. And the U.S. would be focused around the coast of Italy, using it to take their islands. They would land in Denmark to liberate it. And they'd have problems with, uh, with Hamburg. But in the end, Germany's fight would be over. As they're overwhelmed by a three, a 
top five oh, what are the top five countries I would say the US the US is first Russia there's China so I'll say the top three nations are against the war with them not including Germany which I would say probably the, would have been the second most powerful nation but with that Russia would attempt to get their capital back for the second battle of Berlin And with that, German, Germany surrenders first, then, uh, then Italy surrenders, and Serbia and Bosnia are liberated. Albania falls and the rest of the fighting ends. Then all is left is Japan. With the Navy now back and just to protect the homeland to delay the US invasion. Philippines are fully liberated. The US makes a landing in Taiwan, which is quickly liberated. And China fully conquers South Korea. And both China and the US have plans to invade China or Japan. And I would say about a full year later. Ch I would say China would probably attempt to land first. But I would say that probably they attempt it here. But it fails. And the US tries it near Tokyo. And takes Tokyo. Oh, Wrong color. Then China will try it again in the south, which goes better, taking the southern island, and the U.S. lands on the small island in the south and the north. Russia lands and, J and Japan surrenders. Now for a peace treaty. Now this is what I would find. Now has Munich, which is very 
in that's that would suck for Jeremy. Uh check here yeah, really cheap size. We got a little smaller. The Slovakia has land back. Probably Croatia lose too much. Croatia was under severely. Bosnia, I appreciate you have that. So, got an actually good coastline now. Sort of a guy. And it's Kosovo and a little bit of Croatia. Nothing happened to Albania. Nothing changed to Russia or its allies. Korea, even though the US did not like the treaty, China did, just did by themselves make North Korea the full owner of Korea. And that is it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.